in today's class, I am going to talk about non-homogeneous second order differential equations and how you can write a general solution of a non-homogeneous second order differential equation. We have already seen how to, how to solve homogeneous differential equations okay, or at least uh, get solutions of homogeneous differential equations if one solution is known, how you can get the second solution and so on. So, today I today will talk about non-homogeneous equations. So, just to remind ourselves, so this non-homogeneous second order differential equation looks like this. I prime plus b of x y equal to c of x. This is the general non-homogeneous second order differential equation and uh, we want a general solution okay. So, a general solution means uh, we will have two arbitrary constants. So, so it will have two arbitrary constants okay, and uh, this is what we want to get. So, we want to get a general solution of this equation. Okay. Now, for the homogeneous case, so for corresponding homogeneous equation, equation and uh, I will just so, the corresponding homogeneous equation is will look like y double prime plus a of x y prime plus b of x y equal to 0. So, for this homogeneous equation, okay, the solutions are denoted as y h of x and uh, or, 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 or simply y h. Okay. And uh, what I should say is that this is the general solution. The general solution is denoted as y h. So, so I will use y h as the general solution of the corresponding homogeneous equation. Okay, so y h uh, this this uh, will have two arbitrary constants. we saw how we can get y h okay, using linear combination of basis functions. Okay. Now, what we want to do is to write a general solution for this non-homogeneous equation okay, and that will also involve two arbitrary constants. Okay. So, I um, will just state the way you write the general solution of the non-homogeneous equation. So, if y is a solution of the non-homogeneous equation, okay, then uh, you can write y as y h y of x, I will just put y of x as y h of x plus y p of x. So, y h of x, okay, so, so y is a general solution of, of uh, non-homogeneous differential equation. This is a general solution of y h is the general solution of homogeneous differential equation and uh, y p is any particular solution of non homo oh, of the non homogeneous equation. And when I say it can be any particular solution, the word any is very important. You can choose any particular solution and you can write the general solution as that. Okay. Now, if you remember when we did homogeneous equations, we said that you know you can write you can write different bases for the same same uh, same equation. You can write it in terms of different bases. So, same way I mean there are different ways to write the general solution. Okay. And uh, therefore, you can choose any particular solution of the non-homogeneous equation, okay? And that will give you a that will give you a general solution of the non-homogeneous equation. Okay. So just an uh, example of this. So so uh, what is important is that we are getting a general solution of the non-homogeneous differential equation, 
okay, which will have this will have two arbitrary constants. Now, the general solution of the homogeneous differential equation will also have two arbitrary constants. But this particular solution will have no arbitrary constants. Okay. So, uh, I think it is uh, best if we look at an example okay, just to illustrate this point. Okay. So, so, the two arbitrary constants for this for, for y came entirely from y h. Okay. So, let us look at an example now. So, so, suppose you have the differential equation y double prime plus 4 y equal to 4. Okay. It is a simple differential equation. And uh, in this case, you can you can see that the general solution of this is given by y is equal to so so this is y double so if you look at the homogeneous equation so y h okay now this is homogeneous equation you have y double prime plus 4 y equal to 0 okay and the general solution of that will will be a sum of cos 2 x and sin 2 x so so i can write it as c 1 cos 2 x plus c 2 sin 2 x so this is my y h. Okay, it has two arbitrary constants. Now uh, you need to find the y p. You need to find one particular solution. Okay, and uh, you see that there is a four on the right. Okay, so if y equal to one, then this term will become four. Okay, and uh, y double prime of one is zero, so you'll get four equal to four. So particular solution y p of x just choose as one. Okay, just by inspection. Okay, we'll come later to show uh, uh, to to show you how it is possible to choose this in a more reasonable way. But if you just use this just by inspection, we can choose this as the particular solution. So, so the general solution y looks like c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x plus 1 that is the general solution of this uh, of this differential equation okay and you can verify this okay so suppose you just uh, suppose you just substitute this in this equation okay what you will get is exactly that uh, you you can see that this will clearly satisfy this differential equation so uh, so what we have shown is that uh, how how you can get a general solution of a non homogeneous differential equation from the general solution of the homogeneous differential equation and one particular solution okay now how do you choose so 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 in this case we just saw and we and we decided what yp was so how do you choose yp in general okay now the idea here is that you you try Try based on c of x, based on c of x, which is the right hand side of non homogeneous equation. So, what I mean is if you your, your equation looks like y double prime plus a of x y, y prime plus b of x y equal to c of x. Okay, this thing equal to zero is your homogeneous equation. Okay, and it and when it is not equal to zero, uh, you have to worry about the non-homogeneous equation. So your choice of y p depends on what c x is. Okay, and uh, a general recipe to calculate y p is to choose it based on c or based on c x. So so I'll just make a small chart here. So I'll write c x out here, and I'll write. Uh, trial y p of x. So, so what I will show you is I will just make a chart with various choices. So, suppose suppose my c x looks like e to the e to the a x e to the some constant times x. Okay, then my trial trial will also be some uh, some c e to the a x. So, you just take e to the a x multiply by some constant that will be my trial function. Okay. Suppose on the other hand if my c x 
looks like uh, looks like x raised to n okay then my trial function will be will look like a polynomial in n so i take it as uh, i will take it as c1 uh, or c0 plus c1x plus c2x plus up to cn x raised to n if my c of x is just a power of x okay i try with these constants and then i substitute in the equation and then i will find out what the values of these constants should be okay similarly if you have sin omega x or cosine omega x okay in either case you just take your trial function as uh, c1 sin omega x plus c2 cosine omega x okay and then you substitute in the differential equation and then you find out the values of c1 and c2 okay if you had if you had a product of e to the ax times ax times sin omega x or cosine omega x okay then again your trial function will also look like uh, will look like e to the ax and then you have a sin omega x plus b cosine omega x so you try this form okay and you substitute in this equation and then you calculate your uh, you calculate the values of a and b okay so what i'm showing you here is a recipe of how how you choose your your particular solution okay just by looking at looking at what your form of cx is okay now this is this works often okay uh, but there is also a more uh, and, and we'll see examples this, this is a very practical method so i'll emphasize that this is a very practical and useful method good okay because then it, and it works quite well okay uh, however a formal method okay of uh, of calculating uh, calculating yp is is what is called variation of parameters so so this is a formal method okay no trial no trial okay so so no trial function so you don't use any trial function okay you just take whatever your your c of x is and you solve this okay so let's take an example uh, or, or or let's see what the formal method is so so the formal method is your suppose your y h of x okay is equal to this is solution of homogeneous equation the corresponding homogeneous equation suppose this solution you wrote it as a form c1 y1 of x plus c2 y2 of x then the non homogeneous equation de solution what you write it is you write it as y of x is equal to u of x times y1 of x plus v of x times y2 of x so so instead of just c1 and c2 being constants for the non homogeneous equation you 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 imagine that you replace it by some function u and this by some function v so again again once you do this then you have to calculate what is u and v okay so this is just like the variation of parameters that we used in the case of uh, in the case of first order differential equations so if you take this and uh, substitute okay in the original differential equation okay what you will get so let's just work out what happens when you substitute so you will get y prime is equal to u y1 prime plus u prime y1 plus v y1 y2 prime plus v prime y2 and then you calculate y double prime okay that will be u y1 double prime plus uh as i write it 2 u prime y1 prime plus u double prime y1 plus v y2 double prime plus 2 v prime y2 prime plus v double prime y2 okay so you have this and uh, when you substitute this in your uh, non homogeneous equation okay then what you'll get is that uh, 
your instead of y double prime you have you have all these terms so you have u y1 double prime plus 2 u prime y1 prime plus u double prime y1 plus v y2 double prime plus 2 v prime y2 prime plus v double prime y2 so this is your uh, your y double prime and then you have you have uh, plus a of x into y prime y prime is nothing but u y1 prime plus u prime y1 plus v y2 prime plus v prime y2 okay so 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 remember this whole thing was your y double prime okay a of x times y prime and then you have plus b of x times uh, y y is uh, y is nothing but u y1 plus v y2 equal to c of x okay so what we did was we just took this trial form of y okay and we substituted in this differential equation okay now uh, you have to look at it term by term okay but uh, what you'll see is the following what you can see immediately remember y1 and y2 are solutions of the homogeneous equation so y1 and y2 satisfy the homogeneous differential equation so you can see that uh, if you look at this term look at b times y1 okay so there is a u u in front okay then you have y1 double prime with a u in front and then you have a times y1 prime with a u in front okay so these three terms are just u times u times so 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 if i just write this as u times y1 double prime plus a a of x y1 plus b of x y1 okay so that's what you get when you add these three terms these three terms that are underlined in light blue color and now and now you can see that the term in the bracket is equal to 0 because y1 satisfies the homogeneous equation so these three terms add up to 0 similarly you can look at you can look at this term and then you can look at the corresponding terms here uh, which looks like this and uh, here you'll have a term v y2 double prime okay so those two also add up to 0 okay so then what you are left with after this is the following you are left with an equation that looks like this so you have 2 u prime y1 prime plus u double prime y1 plus 2 v prime y2 prime plus v double prime y2 this is equal to so uh, uh, plus a of x times u prime y1 plus v prime y2 equal to c of x okay okay so so notice what we when we did this we got entirely rid of the b term okay and we are just left with this okay now actually actually even this itself is uh, not that straightforward to solve okay because you have you have uh, u and v okay and uh, in general you cannot uh, solve this straightforwardly okay but you can do one thing you can look for solution so, so here is a trick that we use so we look for solutions for solutions that satisfy u prime y1 plus v prime y2 equal to 0 so this term that uh, that multiplies a will go to 0 okay so we look for solutions that uh, satisfy this identity okay and uh, now so so what this gives you is the following two equations so the first equation is u prime y1 plus v prime y2 equal to 0 and the second equation looks like uh, so so now uh, my second equation 
will will have the form 2 u prime y1 prime plus u double prime y1 plus 2 v prime y2 prime plus v double prime y2 equal to 0 so this may look a little complicated okay but uh, actually the solution of this is fairly straightforward okay now uh, once you give once you uh, impose this condition so if you take the first derivative of the of the first equation so let me call this equation 1 and let me call this equation 2 okay so 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 if you take first derivative of 1 okay then you get u double prime y1 plus u prime y1 prime plus v double prime y2 plus v prime y2 prime equal to 0 okay and uh, you can see that in this equation you have u in the second equation you have u double prime y1 and instead of single u prime y1 prime you have twice uh, u prime y1 prime okay so so now if you just subtract the second and third equation so so if you just subtract equation 2 minus 3 okay then you get u prime y1 prime plus v prime y2 prime equal to 0 okay and uh, let me call this equation 4 okay now if you just look at 1 and 4 now uh, this looks like u prime times y1 and v prime times times y2 u prime times y1 prime and v prime times times y2 prime equal to 0 okay now you can immediately uh, this should be equal to sorry this is not 0 this is this should be c of x this should be c of x this quantity remember was equal to c of x okay so and uh, and now from the first derivative what you will get on the right hand side is not zero but you'll get d by dx of c c of x okay so uh, so finally what you get is this is equal to dc of x by dx okay and uh, and uh, this is very nice because uh, what if if you look at uh, 1 and 4 okay they if you if you just look at these two then using your matrix methods you can write u prime is equal to in terms of determinants so uh, so what you'll get is 0 uh, i'll just call it c prime and then uh, you have y2 y2 prime so this determinant divided by y1 y2 y1 prime y2 prime okay so what i did was i just looked at 1 and 4 as two to uh, as a system of linear equations for variables u prime and v prime okay so then you immediately get this and you also get v prime is equal to you will get y1 y1 prime 0 c prime and you will get y1 y2 y1 prime y2 prime should just be c of x okay this should not be dc by dx this should just be c of x okay so because uh, we we took a de derivative of 1 okay so 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 what i wanted to emphasize is that is that this should be c of x okay and uh, and so and so i get my u prime and v prime in this form and uh, and you can write u as the integral of this whole thing this denominator this denominator okay so the denominator uh, is referred to as w or the ronskian okay and this is basically y1 y2 prime minus y1 prime y2 okay and so you can write your you can write your uh, your uh, u and v in the following form so so what you'll get is u prime is equal to minus c y2 by w and v prime is equal to c y1 
by w okay and uh, so so what this variation of parameters gives you it gives you u equal to integral minus c y2 by w dx and v equal to integral c y1 by w dx okay so so we can get so we calculated u and v okay and uh, this basically so 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 once we have u and v we can write y is equal to u y1 plus v y2 okay so 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 we have solved non homogeneous differential equation okay so 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 if you know y1 and y2 of the homogeneous equation then you can solve the non homogeneous differential equation using this method of variation of parameters okay so so in the next class i will discuss some practice problems okay and then in the next module that is the following week we will start looking at how to how to get the solutions of the homogeneous equation how what is the general method of getting the solutions of the homogeneous equation and this will lead us to something called the power series method